ان الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين وبعد believe in brothers and sisters viewers and listeners assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh the question on today's fiqh presentation islamic law islamic ruling it is is it permissible for an imam an alim or any person to lead the Eid Salah twice. The situation is that the Imam go to one group, led the Eid Salah and conducted the Qutbah. After completing this, he go to another group of Muslims on the same day and led them in the Eid Salah. Is this permissible or not? The first is with respect to the ruling of the Eid Salat in this regard, there are some difference of opinions among the Imams of Fiqh which are as follows. The first is Imam Malik Rahimahullah and Imam Ashafi Rahimahullah. Both of them are of the view that it is Sunnah al muakkada and emphasize and confirm practice of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which must not be neglected. Another opinion of Imam Shafi, rahimahullah, is that it is Farad al kifaya the great fifth-century Sheikh and scholar of the Shafi Madhab Imam al ruyani In his work that he did in the Madhab of Imam Shafi, he stated that if the Muslims of a city all agreed to neglect the Eid Salah, then the Muslim ruler of that country must fight against them. Since they have neglected a symbol of Islam and have belittled the religion of Allah. Having written this, Imam Aruyani stated, this is the most correct opinion to me in the Shafi Madhab. The above shows that although the ruling of Eid Salah may be deemed as Sunnah al muakkad by Imam al-Shafi rahimahullah and Imam Malik rahimahullah, it must not be taken lightly as other Sunnah Salah. Instead, it must be well established among the Muslims and must not be neglected. Number two is Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal rahimahullah states that it is Fard al kifaya compulsory on a sufficing basis according to Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, he states that it is wajib essential upon all those Muslims on whom the Juma Salah has been essential this is also an, an, an opinion of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahimahullah. in light of the above it is evident that each Salah is not simply an optional Salah or an ordinary sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Instead, it is very strong and emphasized teaching of the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which many of the great imams of fiqh and also tafsir and hadith have regarded to be essential upon a Muslim male who has reached the age of puberty, and the salah of Juma has become essential upon him. The second point to be, to be understood is that when a person or an imam leads other people in a salah, which is essential to be done, then by leading that salah, his duty to Allah has been fulfilled. And the essential compulsory nature of that salah is now lifted from that person who led the salah. Be him an be him a imam, a sheikh, or a maulana. If he performs that same salah again by either doing it individually or leading a group as an imam, then it will be regarded as an optional nafil salah for him, since he has already fulfilled what was essential upon him. Therefore, in the situation which you have, you have uh, understood. Through our discussion, the Imam, by leading the first group of people in the Eid Salah, had already fulfilled his essential duty to Allah by performing the Eid Salah and leading others in it. 
On account of this, the Eid Salah no longer remain as Sunnah al muakkada wajib or fard upon the Imam, the Shaykh or the Mawlana. If he performs it again individually as a follower or leads another group in it as an Imam, then it will be deemed as two rakats of optional Salah and not two rakat of Eid Salah. Since he had already fulfilled his duty of Eid Salah, with the first congregation, with the first jama'ah. As such, when the Imam led the second group in eight salah, his two rakats became two nafil optional rakats, while the Muslim who been led were performing two rakats of eight salah, which were either sunnah mu'akkad upon them, or either the salat is wajib, essential upon them, or fard upon them. As I have highlighted, the repeated salah performed by the Imam in this case is considered to be nafil optional as mentioned by all of the four Imams. The madhab of Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah states the second salah, the repeated one I'm talking about, becomes optional based on the evidence of Yazid bin Aswad. The madhab of Imam Malik rahimahullah states the repeated salah falls under the hukum that is the ruling of nafil, which is optional salah. The madhab of Imam al-Shafi rahimahullah states, when a person performs salah and then repeats it with congregation, then the fourth salah is the first one. Because of the narration of Yazid bin Aswan. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam consider his second salah to be optional nafil, and it is so because the duty of the fard was fulfilled and dropped off with the first salah. And hence, it is necessary that the second one becomes nafil, which is optional. The madhab of Imam Ahmad, rahimahullah states, and the person for salat is his fard because of the hadith of Yazid bin Aswan. And the repeat one is optional. It is clearly evident from this statement because of the narration of Yazid bin Aswad that in the above case of the Imam, Sheikh Mawlana, his first eight salat was fulfilled as his wajib or fard, his eight salat, and his second one which he led, the second group of Muslim, the second congregation, was a nafil salat and not an eight salat. The third matter is, can Muslims who are performing a fard wajib or sunnah al muakkada salah, like Eid, be led by one, that is an imam, or a sheikh, or a maulana, who perform in a nafil salah? Imam Shafi, rahimahullah, he gives an allowance for this. However, according to the imam, imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, imam Malik, rahimahullah, and imam Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah, this is not allowed. In other words, one whose salat is considered as being optional, that is, nafil cannot lead others whose salat it is fard, wajib or sunnah al muakkada Therefore, one who is performing a salah which is essential upon him cannot be led by one who is performing an optional salah. This must be very clear to each and every one of us. The madhab of Imam Abu Hanifa states, one who is performing an essential compulsory salat cannot be led by or perform salat behind who is performing a nafil salat. The madhab of Imam Malik, rahimahullah, states, and one who cannot, one can repeat a salat if he is a follower, but it is not correct, permissible, to repeat a salat as an imam, just as the madhab of Imam Abu Hanifa states. The madhab of Imam Ahmad rahimahullah, states, it is not correct permissible for one who is performing an essential compulsory salah to follow, that is to perform salah behind one who is performing a nafil salah. The author of Kitab al Fut Fiqh al Madhahib al Arba states, and from the condition of being an imam is that the state of the imam must not be lower than that of the muqtadi, the followers. 
Therefore, it is not correct, it is not permissible for one performing a fard or wajib salah to follow one who is performing a nafil salah, according to all imams except Imam Shafi rahimahullah. In the above case, when the imam led the Eid Salah for the second masjid or the second group of Muslims, his Salah became optional nafil, since he had already fulfilled his duty to eat Salah with the first group. So although in his heart he would have made an intention for leading Eid Salah, and he thought to himself that it was an Eid Salah, the reality is that he was leading two optional nafil rakats of Salah for Muslims, who were performing their Eid Salah for this second group, their Eid Salah was Fard, Wajib, or Sunnah al muakkada upon them, and it could not have been led by someone who was simply performing two optional Salah. It was not right. And it is not right, neither. According to the third Imam of Fiqh, or the three Imams of Fiqh, sorry, the action of a person who becomes an Imam for two separate groups for the same Eid Salah is totally wrong and impermissible. In this case, the Eid Salah of the first group will be valid since they were in the same Salah of Eid with the Imam. As for the second group now, their Eid Salat will not be valid because they were led by one whose Salat became optional, that is Nafil, while their Salah was essential wajib. Fard or at least Sunnah al muakkadah This has been clearly stated in many books of fatawa. In this regard, the late Grand Mufti of India, Aziz, Mufti Aziz al-Rahman, alayhi rahmah, he wrote, a person cannot lead Juma or Eid Salah two times. If he does this, then the Salah of the second group will not be valid since the second Salah of the Imam was nafil optional. And one who is performing a fard or a wajib salah cannot be led by one who is performing an optional salah. Similarly, when the great Mufti of India, Mufti Salman Mansouri, Damad Barakat, was asked about an Imam who leads each salah in one place and then comes to another place, another masjid to lead the same each salah with another group of people, with another jama'ah. He wrote, the Eid Salah which the Imam led for the second group was not an Eid Salah, but was an optional, a nafil Salah. In a like manner, when asked about if an Imam can lead Eid al-Fitr Salah at two different places, the department of Ifta of the most renowned and famous Islamic institute in Karachi, Jami al Ulum Islamiya, wrote An Imam cannot lead the Eid Salah at two places. If an Imam leads people in Eid Salah at two places, then the Eid Salah of the second group is not valid and accepted as Eid Salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us that you and I understand the ruling in the Sharia with regards to today's presentation. Is it permissible for a Sheikh, a Mawlana or an Imam to lead two Eid Salah or two Fard Salah in two different congregation or two Masjid? Please look forward for more upcoming rulings in light of the Sharia from yours, Mawlana Badruddin. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.